What's going on YouTube is Gadgets Boy, welcome to another video. So this is the OnePlus 7T and here's my hands on and my first impressions. Let's have a look. So the first thing you notice is the change in packaging. So now it's very elongated. I think uh, it's interesting, it's an interesting packaging, but it still looks good. Inside that packaging, you still get everything you need inside the box. So you get your user manual, you get the phone itself, you get your charging cable and that fast charge, the WAP charge charging block in there as well. And you also get a protective case at the packaging, which is really good. But onto the device itself, it's all about the user experience. You have that 90 Hertz display that's still there. You got a camera for every occasion. The hardware and the software has a nice balance between them as well. You still got that warp charge as well, so you can really charge it. You can quickly charge it back up very quickly. You got HDR10+, Dolby Atmos. You now have Fluid AMOLED display, which is 6.55 inch uh, as well, and it's 1080p. But what's different here is now 2400 by 1080. So you get an increase in screen quality. That's also quite good when it comes to refresh rate. So those gamers out there, you're in good, you, you're, in, you're in luck for, for that sort of thing. You got that new aspect ratio as well. So it's now 20 by nine instead of the 19.5 by nine. So it feels nice in hand. I, I like how comfortable it feels. And, you, and I like that flat display as well because on the OnePlus 7 Pro for me, that curved edges, I didn't really see the purpose of it. It didn't serve me any purpose. So the flat display is more than enough and you still get that dew drop display right at the top. You got SIM cards has been moved as well from the side to the bottom. When I asked OnePlus, they didn't really give me a reason to, as to why that is, but we'll find out more later on when we start reviewing the device. For processor, you got Snapdragon 855 Plus, but it's not the 5G. You got eight gig of RAM and 128 gig of internal storage. With this, it's gonna be one SKU as well, so there's not gonna be options for uh, a bigger storage device or anything like that. You got that e E3 panel as well, which OnePlus says it's got 40% reduction in blue light emission, 27% brighter, and it can give you up to a thousand nits of peak brightness, which is pretty cool. It's dual SIM as well, and for camera, you got 48 megapixel and a 16 and a 12. And that new camera array on the back as well with a flash, which is pretty cool. You can shoot 4K at 60 frames per second. Um, and when it comes to battery, you got 3,800 milliamp hour battery as well. So it's quite big and should last you all day. The Zen mode has changed as well. So now you can set it to 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes Zen mode as well. So up to an hour, which is enough for if you're gonna watch a movie or have dinner with your family and friends. Uh, it means you're not gonna be interrupted for an hour. You still got that optical finger reader there as well, which is slightly faster, which is nice. You got a new and bigger vibrator motor in there as well for haptic feedback and that kind of stuff, which is pretty cool. And this is gonna be the first smartphone to ship with Android 10 out of the box, uh, something that OnePlus are gonna be shouting about. Back onto the camera again, the main lens is an IMX86 Sony sensor, it's half inch sensor at f1.6, uh, up from 1.7, and it's got optical image stabilization with seven element lens. You got that 16 megapixel ultra wide at 117 degrees field of view with six elements. Uh, it'll give you 17 millimeters of focal length and it supports macro now as well at f2.2 with electronic image stabilization. You've also got that 12 megapixel two times lossless zoom telephoto lens. It will give you 51 millimeters focal length, length uh, six element lens in there as well at f2.2, but there's no stabilization on this one. The selfie cam on the front is a 16 megapixel f2.0 and will shoot 1080p. You got that new focus motor in there as well in the ultra wide sensor, which is really good. So you focus really quickly. You got portrait mode in ultra wide and wide and that nightscape as well with ultra wide is there as well and one times as well. When shooting video, there's a new dedicated super stable mode on as well, which combines uh, its improved version of hybrid stabilization, which is really cool. When I was trying it, it feels really stable, but we'll put up to a uh, better test once we, once we have that in house to actually try out. It's running Oxygen OS 10.0, which is very fluid. Uh, there's no bloatware on there, which is very important. But overall, the new OnePlus 7T looks really good. And I think a lot of people would actually be pu purchasing this uh, version. And I look forward to the next uh, other series, other version of, of this edition of this that's gonna be announced as well. So again, good times for OnePlus. So that's it for the OnePlus 7T, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, let me know also. If you have any questions, also let me know. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification as well so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video on this channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.